Angus, uh, tell us a story. Yeah, the, Rish, the AGM, virtual AGM, that is just wrapped up uh, a couple of hours ago uh, in, in Australia. And as you said, probably a you know, humbling experience for, for Crown Resorts. Chairman Helen Coonan uh, unreservedly apologised for, for risk management failings that had been exposed at a, an inquiry in, in Sydney uh, into money laundering allegations at Crown's casinos. Um, and also allegations that Crown used junket operators w with links to um, um, drug traffickers. So the, the inquiry had really uh, exposed a raft of, of governance uh, oversight, risk management failings, and uh, the, the board was, was peppered with questions from shareholders at the AGM today about those. Angus, bot renewal, uh, promises to tighten money laundering controls. Can it revive investor confidence? Yeah, certainly it's making the right noises, isn't it? it has. And uh, certainly the, the board and, and Chairman Helen Coonan has the, the results of this inquiry in mind when, when they're laying out all these reforms today. Let's not forget the inquiry is due to return its findings early next year. And uh, Crown really is doing its best to, to ward off the, the, the most severe repercussions from that by laying out the, these reforms, chiefly aimed at tightening anti-money laundering controls at the company, compliance, uh, and, and being more aggressive at actually not just reporting suspicious transactions, but proactively going after them and, and detecting them before. So the, a, a lot of things are at, uh, at stake here for Crown, that this inquiry looking at Crown's very right to run the Sydney casino that, that it's building and it's due to open in, in December this year. So the worst comes to the worst, this inquiry could could really um, punish Crown sharply, make it change its operations, at worst strip it of its license to run that casino, but the, the, no one's yet suggesting that you know, that's likely. So um, it, important undertakings by Crown, and as you say, also pledging to renew the board to, to minimise that perception that it, it's, it's, um, it's biased towards its billionaire shareholder, James Packer.